General Antonio Guterres says there's a real opportunity for an end to more than 14 months of fighting between Ethiopian government and Tigrayan forces. His comments come after a call with the African Union's special envoy. Guterres' statement gave no details about his conversation with Olushegun Obasanjo, which followed the envoy's latest visit to Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, and the capital of Ethiopia's northernmost region of Tigre, Mekele. Ethiopia's war broke out in November 2020, following months of mountain tensions between Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government and the TPLF, the former ruling party of Tigra. The first foreign aid plane has arrived in Tonga carrying much-needed water and supplies for the Pacific nation. New Zealand said its military plane landed at Tonga's main airport after workers cleared ash from the runway. Other planes and ships sent by New Zealand and Australia are on the way. Saturday's eruption of an undersea volcano and tsunami wave saw volcanic ash blanketing the islands posing a serious health risk. The ash and seawater have contaminated water supplies. At least three people have died and communications have been crippled and Tonga has only just begun to re-establish global contact after five days cut off from the rest of the world. North Korea is hinting it will resume long-range missile and nuclear tests in response to what it calls the intensifying hostile moves of the United States. Any such test will significantly escalate U.S.-North Korea tensions, which have already been heightened because of Pyongyang's sixth ballistic missile test to start the new year. North Korea has not conducted a nuclear or ICBM test since 2017 during the height of tensions between Kim and former U.S. President.